Hi guys, welcome to the next episode. I think it's number nine. I've not done quite a while, just mainly because I'm lazy. And uh, so that's another reason for you to subscribe and click that bell, you know, so you don't miss it when I release once if you are into that stuff, you know. So today I kind of felt like it, so let's kick off. Let's do some. This pile, guys, this pile is awesome. So let's start with Devourment. Devourment? 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 Whatever it's pronounced. Sorry about that, it's English not my first language, so yeah, awesome design, I, I, I absolutely love it, it's great, and I love the band, on the, on the last album, kind of, I wasn't a fan of the production, but the music itself was awesome, I said it's an amazing pile, look at the next one, death symbolic, all over print, I think it's called a lower print because it's almost full print. Oh look at that. It's it's gorgeous, isn't it? And the death logo on the back is just amazing. In a great album, of course, who doesn't know symbolic you know so right another amazing shirt somehow Ceremony as opposites. I love this design and uh, again all over print and uh, the color schemes great And the logo of course this old logo is better than the new one of course uh, It's brilliant <laughs> It was cool originally I'm from Latvia and also I was once back home. I saw the shirt and I kind of Spared the money. It was expensive. So I didn't buy it and I went to the same shop year after and it still was there so I thought nah I have to have it so I bought it right another awesome shirt well it could be bigger you know, what what is this real estate empty you know but apart from that solo for new machine great great album I, I like it more than uh, the manufacturer you know and the manufacturer has some some massive hits but as a whole album this for me rocks it and parental advisory in the back. So yeah, great Fair Factory album. I've seen it quite a few times live as well, and Sibel's uh, vocals were hit and miss on the live. You know, the band played all awesome as always, but the vocals, mm, yeah. And now we'll see what happens with the new vocalist. So, right, skinless, simple shirt. You know, it's it's a bit too simple actually, but okay, it is what it is. You know, I, I love skinless, so I had to get the shirt. So nothing on the back on this one. Yeah, I hope I will see them on one of the festivals this year, but I'm not I'm sure. I need to check. The plan is to go on three. I think Obscene Extreme, Brutal Assault, and then is one in Germany. Some I, I I don't know remember don't remember the name of that festival. It's a bit more undergroundish. Right, fresh cr flesh crawl. I bought this one on a gig in Manchester. I think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. has to be this one yeah. Yeah, London, Manchester, and Cardiff gigs. They they had like a mini tour in UK, so I was on that one. And still with the old vocalist, so it was a great gig in a small venue. Right, then we go to, I think it's the most hated Morbid Angel album. Uh, well, the shirt is great and I actually like the album. It's like, I got the album, uh, I pre-ordered the album, you know, because that was a big deal when Morbid released an album. And when I received it, I was like first listening to it, it was, I was giving like 4 out of 10 to it, you know, and I was like, what the hell happened there, you know, like 3 good songs and stuff, and then I kept listening, kept listening, and then after a week, I said to myself, if it's such a crap album, why am I listening to it all week? And I realized I actually liked it, so I even liked it all these too extreme and everything, you know, it was a different vibe, but, but great. Master. 
Yeah. Paul Speckman. Organized evil on the back. A simple shirt, but I, I, I don't know. Master logo somehow speaks to me, and uh, yeah, it's there and great. Alright, then the next is Cattle Decapitation. This was a weird one actually with this band. Um, I actually really, really, really love one album and the rest is mm, kind of... Mm. So I don't know, maybe I need to listen more to the old ones, but for me this is more like a one, one, one album band for me. But they, the thing is, every album is a bit different as well, so Probably it just needs more time for me, you know, to get more into them. And the vocals, I like the vocals. So some some people hate the vocals, uh, and I like the high vocals of his. And so, yeah. Then we go to another awesome band, Dying Fetus. And they are live, so so great. Seen quite a few times, and they're so great live. Alright, tour dates from 2012 on the back. And I, I like when, 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 when they use all shirt, you know. If you need a black shirt, you buy a black shirt, just, you know, but, but this is awesome. Yeah. Another UK band coming up next. No introduction needed. Carcass. Awesome. From Surgical Steel. Tag on the back. <laughs> so yeah. Eh, typical carcass shirt. And ah, next is a very underrated band, Ion, and they released the album this year. I think it's this year, yeah, and uh, it's an awesome album. Really, really great band. And they bloody cancelled the gig on, on Brutal Assault when I was there, so I don't know, still haven't seen them. Another band I haven't seen them, and I love the color scheme. Gorgas, awesome shirt, isn't it? This is really great. Nothing on the back on this one, but pure brutality. And, and this, I love this color. Uh, like why, why is it why, violet? You know, I think purple. Oh, I like purple. Uh, key. Mullen Creation. This was uh, on the first tour without this guy. So, yeah, I had to have this shirt. Yeah, Forever with us, Forever Blood Brothers, Brett Hoffman, with the, de you know, life dates and stuff. Bloody hell, 2018? It's four years already. Man, how time flies. Right, Creator coming up next, and look at that, it's grey shirt all over, you know, so, so I like when it's a bit different, you know, and, uh, and, and it's awesome design of course, grey with the blood black, uh, blood red stuff, and the back as well, you have logo this way, you know, so, awesome, awesome shirt, slightly, slightly, like, thinner, softer material as well, so great. Great shirt. Ooh, what's next? <laughs> Cryptopsy. Yeah, man, so while. I think what it on Brutal Assault when they played. Awesome, awesome shirt, awesome album. Mm -hmm, another, yeah, I think quite a few bought on Brutal Assault from this pile. Unfathomable Ruination. Yeah, really great shirt as well, and the logo is interesting. So nothing on the back on this one. Oh, great brutality as well. And and li uh, live, great, really great. They were live on Brutal Assault on like, not on the main stage, in like little, little area there, and they was packed with people, absolutely packed. And this is one really really unknown band I think, at least, well, I was lucky enough to, Moonfog it's called, and uh, I don't, I don't actually know, from Czech Republic maybe they were, I, I'm not 100% sure where they were from, and uh, 
they played in my hometown in, in, in Lepaya and there were only a few people of us, you know, but they played absolutely amazing gig and so I had to get the shirt. They only had this small size but I still had to get it. It's it's it has to be too small for me. So I'll put to side maybe my missus will wear it again. Ooh look at that greatness. Hey but that is that's small as well. Uh, hate eternal. This is yeah. Uh, can you believe it? I, I could fit in it. I don't think I can now. And and yeah. It, it's great. It's great. Corpse probably couldn't find a better uh, replacement guitarist, you know, as as Eric. So awesome. I have to try this one. I I don't want to give to my missus because I don't love it. But we'll see. Another one, small, but she's not getting this one. Broken Hope, one of my all-time top top bands, you know. So, and and what a design. Swamped in gore. It's a it's a bit excessive that the red paint there it's it's like it doesn't feel like a shirt anymore it's like a wall of paint or a coat of paint you know so but the front is amazing yeah oh what's coming up entrails by the way they are looking for bassist slash vocalist or two two different persons you know Shame they are from Sweden and not from Germany, cause, cause, yeah, I kind of wrote to them in case they uh, <laughs> can't find anyone else, you know. But yeah, and the shirt is is great shirt and great album. Every album is is awesome. Yeah, I really like it. And uh, they should have played as well this this obscene extreme this year, and all of a sudden, oh, cancelled. What the hell? And then after a couple of days, so yeah, the, the vocalist slash bassist left. So, for some reason, uh, bloodbath. Yeah, awesome. And the logo on the back. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's great, you know, when you have like logo just on the side, so a bit different than the rest, you know. Especially if you have like round, almost round logo like that. So yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Next one, yeah, short I bought on a gig as well, actually. So in, impending doom, some Christian deathcore or metalcore, deathcore, deathcore more like it, yeah. But they played great and and. Awesome design of the shirt, I really like it, so... Yeah, really, really like it. And uh, nothing on the back on this one, but yeah, really great. Then we come to some Polish old school legends. Oh, another all over print. Vader. And yeah, great shirt. Green, you know, and with white and stuff, so awesome. Really great. I said it's awesome pile this time, so if you are uh, tuning in, you know, so I think you're lucky that you chose this one. Right, go rotted. Yeah, as well. This is this. I I don't know. It somehow speaks to me this design and the logo as well. So I, I really love this shirt. For some weird reason, I don't know, it's kind of nothing special, but, but, I don't know, it somehow feels really great. And like a real proper old school, so, yeah. I like rotted and go rotted, but, yeah, I don't know, both equally good. And, what a legendary shirt. Uh, let's make it a bit more straight. Scream bloody gore from death. Really right. This is not bootleg, like this is proper proper stuff, so awesome. Just plain awesome. Okay. Next one is another truck. And 
Yeah, my blasphemy designs. I like it. And uh, yeah, nothing on the back on this one. And Anana Truck is as well one of my top bands. Somehow, I don't know, this past year I've been listening a bit less of them because I've, I've been more into grindcore stuff. But they are still still ace. When, when you know, sometimes I listen and when I drive a car like a best off of everything so I don't get bored. And when they come up, you know, you have, you have to scream full, full blast in a car. So. And another, yeah, awesome Biogenesis shirt. Simple, but great. Yeah, I was on one show, one show with my lad and uh, we plan to go on, on another one later this year. And then we have Possessed. A lot of legends this time, isn't it? And the pentagram and upside down cross and everything like it should be, you know? And a back print as well. Proper red color, white and, and everything, so awesome. Another S shirt, uh -huh. oh my god this is small. Oh damn. That's definitely going to my missus and my missus low morbid angel, so... Oh, she will be dancing around that I will give this one to her. Shame. I need to get another one for myself now, because I love the design. And it's, it's not a bad album, actually. So, yeah. That's it, that pile. Okay. At least... Uh, more space because all of these are like full to the brick that's why I actually stuffed them a little bit more together I made space for another pile because I, I got actually today a, a bit of delivery so <laughs> yeah Cataclysm awesome and the tour dates and everything so yeah just plain Black, simple, uh, black and white, simple design. Oh, great. And we get to another Malavan Creation shirt. And Stillborn, if you've seen the previous episode of... I think this is the third Stillborn shirt already from me. A slightly different every single one of them, but... Yeah, it, it's my first Death Metal album, so... Uh, my proper, proper... That's my album I heard first, so... Um, um, like, yeah... My first rock album, I would say, was Guns N' Roses, Use or Illusion, uh, the blue one, the, the... Whatever it is, part two. And uh, then it was a tape with Sepultura, Chaos Heady, and with Stillborn. So those, that, that's my step, and then, then after that, everything else. Paradise Lost, Lost Paradise Lost, after that. Right, uh, the Ten Commandments actually came for me after Stillborn, so yeah. Well, an awesome album, I, I, yeah. You know it, guys. And another awesome album, of course. This is, looks tiny, but but no way I'm giving this one away. Slowly we rot. And on the back is logo, as well proper old school stuff. So yeah. Oh, this is this is such a great pile. And another death shirt. Oh, sound of perseverance. Actually, I think this is my favorite album. I know it's all leprosy season, whatever you know, but I love this one. And the logo on the back as well, so... Not a fan of the golden stuff, you know, because the logo is in golden, but... Apart from that, yeah, great. And one of the most hated bands in Death Metal, Six Feet Under. Good that I don't care that it's hated, I like it. And a great design as well, and that... Typical Six on the back, so... Yeah, it's for me. My shirts, I like it. Oh, 
friends of mine from from uh, Preston from UK all consumed from their uh, last album I think they are recording already next one I think but yeah uh, awesome they're yeah, great groovy that smell in the back as well so go check them out support them great guys they recently added second guitarist as well so played them with them together many times many shows you know sometimes they were support acts sometimes we were mostly we were <laughs> nape on that this is as well a great shirt really awesome shirt nothing on the back but the front design I simply love it then we get to another entrail shirt another album another shirt look at that and you know you're right to say that the logo looks a bit like Entombed logo, but well, they sound a bit like Entombed, so who cares? I don't care really. I like that they have like here as well on the sleeves logo, so in the back as well. Yeah. At least when you pick this up, you know what you're expecting, what you're getting, you know? So, yeah. Okay, then we have Human Rejection. Nothing on the back of this one. This is a bit of it. I don't know. No, it is good quality. It, it looks from the distance like it would be that iron on stuff, but, but no, it's not. It's proper painted. It's just maybe those shadows around the design what makes it like look like it would be. Well, yeah. And here we go to the, <laughs> the entomb as well. Oh man, this, this looks tiny as well. But I probably can fit in it, but I'll, I'll check. I should be able to. Scandinavian Tour 1091. It's from Eric Records. Nah, I'll fit in this one. Yeah, she's not getting this one. Then we get to Holocaustal Cannibal. Yeah, simple logo shirt. And uh, on the back, are you gore enough? So, yeah. Think, yeah, okay. Then we get to Bolt Thrower Warmaster. Awesome. Right, then we get to something interesting. Nirvana! Never mind. Sue me. I don't care. And I like it. So, yeah. Surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of shirts I, I got today, actually. Sepultura Schizophrenia. 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 Whatever it is, you know. And the back, you know, so. Old Sepulski. Then we get to autopsy. Right, then I like the quality of the design, you know, it's, it's like pretty detailed and everything. And the logo is, is, is something special about this logo as well. It has blood dripping logo, so it's great automatically. Right, then we have. <laughs> okay. We have Motley Crew. I love me Motley Crew. <laughs> I probably imagine if I would be, you know, growing up in this era, I would be looking the same. Probably. And an uh, awesome pentagram on the back. Shout to the devil! Yeah, and those, the slogan of here is, is like, I don't know if it is print error or is it like meant to be like that? It's, it's slightly offset, like two layers and slightly offset. But I like how it looks like it's, it's, it doesn't look like a proper error, you know, it looks like it's meant to be a bit dizzy. Then we get to this guy 
effigy of the forgotten from suffocation. Look at that and look at the back print, you know. Is it is great. Yep. Sadly for I haven't seen them with Frank, but whatever, whatever. They are live good anyway. And the last one for today. We finish with a proper blasphemy. And look at that. <laughs> and it is my favorite DSI album, so. Look at that. Australian tour September 95. So. Awesome. So. That's it for today, guys. So don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you know when the next one comes out. I won't promise anymore that it will be next week or this week or whatever, you know. If I need to have a mood for it. So <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's the way it is. Uh, you know, I don't get paid for it or whatever, you know. So I make it when I feel like it because then I think they are more fun as well, you know, when it's not like forced, I have to. So, yeah. Cheers guys for watching, see you on the next one. Peace out.